Previously on Being Belinda. There's your con. Yeah? We have got the perfect job for you. It's very highbrow. You'll be working with a VIP, Councillor Belinda Scandal. Oh, dear Lord, she is crazy. You've been narrowed down to the final few. Final few? Final one. This job's very easy. All you have to do is exactly what I do. If you do what I do, what I ask you to do, and then you'll find that it's done. Are you scared to school with your Tabitha? <gasps> Dear Tabitha, but not my only child. I have three. One of each. A boy, a girl, and a hairdresser. Why didn't you tell me you were getting out today? Why? What difference would it have made? I've met up with your nan. Have you made up? No, not quite. Bingo! Quick. That's on me. I'm a little lost. No one's ever lost on Canal Street. Fancy pie? Something's not quite right, if you don't mind me saying. Oh my god, will you get to the point? Open it, I want to see what's inside. Okay. Oh no. Oh. Oh, I'm well enough. Do you need a tunnel, I do. No, I'm thinking if everything was okay, i.e. non-dramatic, then she'd have taken that and all. I just was wondering who that weirdo is. You know the one with the great taste in polyester suits? Said, forget about him. What with tabs disappearing and all. Sorry, I can't let it go. I mean it. If you've got something to say, then say it. You uh just gonna see a canal too, eh? With you? I see I punch myself in the throat. Hello, son. Yes, of course, well. This is all too perfect. The question is, how will the final act of a pathetic career pan out? <laughs> and now, the series finale. Today, Daisy, I'm having a good day. Of course, it could be so much more better. So, uh, I'm older you today then? Oi, that's a bit rude, lady. Alright, what's your dress size? Oi, so, what did you get me? Nothing. You said not to make a fuss, so I didn't. Sorry, what? I didn't make a fuss. So sorry, let me just get this right. I employ you, practically stop you from being the next big issue seller. And this, this is my reward. Because you said not to make a fuss. It's a figure of speech, you prat. Oh, here we go. When someone says don't make a fuss, that's code for make as big a fuss as possible. I can't do right for doing wrong, can I? Disgraceful. Uh. Well, did you get me anything? What for? A birthday. Thought that you wouldn't want to bother at your age. At my, at my age, I wouldn't get them. I wouldn't answer that. Fifty. Big man. I did say not to answer. Fifty. You think I look fifty? Well, oh, this is getting dangerous. Come here, Ains, love. I'm not a dinosaur. Speaking of which... Morning, Flower! At least someone's remembered. Remembered? Well, these aren't for you, these are for Dennis. Of course they are. And have you remembered your daughter's birthday? Well, yeah, you have to say one every year. Not long now, you know. Today! It's today, you silly antique road show. Don't it's not. It is. Let's come round quick. Yeah. yeah, surprisingly, a whole year after the last one. I can't be expected to remember these sort of things. Not in my time of life. Oh, very appropriate. Very, very appropriate that today of all days you decide to use the dementia card. In a couple of years' time, you'll be able to use it. The very is there's only one person left in the house now. Shall we see if he's remembered? Rodney! Morning. Hi, I've got them once. So, what day is it today? Well, it's Tuesday, but I think you're referring to your birthday. No, I think you didn't forget. Of course not. I got your present. Well, I did, but I kind of left it in the shop. <laughs> She'd have tassled her. She'd have remembered. Huh? 43! For your information, I'm 43! Oh, I wasn't far off then. So, uh, what would you like to do for your birthday then? Well, what I'd really like to do is have the entire family together. But that's not going to happen, is it? 
wishful thinking. <laughs> yes. Yes, it is. Still no sign of her then? No, I'm afraid not. <laughs> Now I'm a little bit crazy Out of my mind I'm going slightly strange in the head It's all a little bit hazy But I'm pretty sure I'm gonna stay screwy instead And I'm a little bit cuckoo caca Slightly deranged Barking up the wrong tree Maybe the world would be a happier place If everybody got crazy like me I'm very disappointed in you. Oh, you said not to make a fuss. Just because I said it doesn't mean I mean it. Still, I will be the bigger person. I want to push on with my policy for walkers. People, not the crisps. I don't think that walking lanes in town is going to make you very popular. I'm sure it won't, but it needs to be done. Now listen, what we need is we need a fast lane for those that are on a mission. Those that want to get in town and get something. The go-getters in life. And we need a slow lane for those that are dawdling. Those that are fanny assing about looking in every single window. Honestly, there's times when I've walked past them and their head's been in the Adidas shop and I really want to smash their head on the double glazing. Boom, like that. But I wouldn't do a thing like that. Uh, also, we need to do something about people that when they're in supermarkets and they've only got a little bit of space. I've got the face, practically, on the barcode. Yeah, they're looking for gluten-free. Gluten? Gluten-free! We never had that. Oh no, and anyway, I'm fat. That doesn't mean that I need to sniff and inhale the pasties. Although I would. Let me get all this down. I thought you did short time. Is he late? Oh, just a tad, but... I don't mind, because when he gets there, I'm probably going to get him to bang me. Oh, Nana. Oh, please. You didn't invent it, you know. In fact, if it wasn't for me flattening the grass verge on Inside Street, you wouldn't be here. <laughs> See you later. Tara, love. Sorry I'm late. You know what these drug addicts are like? Never where they say they will be. These are for you. Oh, thank you. How nice. Where would you like to go today, Gwyneth? I don't really mind at all. She will be all right, won't she? I don't know. I mean, she's had these hissy fits before. She once got to the end of the street with a bag full of Cindy's and Barbies. I had to bring her back, though. It was a pound land carrier bag. Oh, for God's sake. Well, seriously. I mean, what do I do? I could call the police. No, no. You said no police. No. All oh, right, no law. Well, then tell me, Daisy, where is she? I, I don't know. If I knew, I'd tell you, obviously. Maybe she's gone on holiday. On holiday? As in abroad? She's ginger. If she stepped out in the sun, she'd evaporate like a freaking vampire. Not funny, Dad. Not funny at all. It is a little bit funny. I'll accept it from her, but not from you. So how's it going then? It doesn't even bite him. She don't even seem bothered. Well. We'll have to step it up then. It's not gone too far, Dad. Let's just leave it. It's more than my life's worth. I, I want nothing to do with it. I'm out. We'll see about that, shall we? We'll ask the boss what you should do. Told you, Dad. I'm out. Someone's going to get hurt. Someone's about to. I'm sorry, son, you're right. It's gone too far. Oh, what are you doing this for, Dad? <laughs> it's not for the bunny. For her. For, for why? Because... I don't really know. It's, it's not even as if we're still married. Oh, 
more down there. Get away from here. I can only think that things are going to get a lot worse. What on earth is the matter with you? You've got no idea what I've had to do to just survive. I mean, I worked at Greg's for God's sake. Oh, we know that turned out, don't we? Yeah, I messed that up and all. Well, you haven't messed me up. Oh, do you know what just sounds wrong, doesn't it? I have, though. How have you messed me up? Unless, of course, you include the fact that you made me walk down 19 flights of stairs just to check that you're all right. Can we go for a walk? I haven't got my pashmina on my bag. I'll get it for you. Is everything all right? Please, Miss Scandal, we really need to talk alone. Do you know I hate suspenders? Me too. I'll, I'll use the lift. The thing I've noticed about you, Daisy O'Connellis, trouble seems to follow you around. There is no way I am using that lift. It's like a freaking log frame in there. Loads of logs and plenty of fumes. Oh, come on. What no. When I was young, we used to believe that daffodils made you weak. Now I told our Tabitha about oh, it. Oh, will you she... stop? I'm trying to talk to you. My lips are moving, therefore I am talking. I think I've got us mixed up in something. No, I knew you were going to say that. I could sense you were going to say that. Like I could sense a fly at 50 paces. Yeah, what kind of fly? Daisy, that's a zip, not a fly. I so wish oh. you'd stop with the humour. It just makes me feel embarrassed for well, you. Well, you listen to me. I'm trying to talk and I don't want you to interrupt. Oh, look. See, now, now I'm sensing you're about to tell me what we're going to have for lunch. Oh, well, your senses are rubbish then, aren't they? Oi! Mouth, Biggles. Well, will you just listen? Get to the freaking point. I'm trying to, you oversized ginger biscuit. Oi! Thin ice, skating, hashtag, just say it. You're on thin ice. <sighs> oh, for the love of Abba, will you listen? I'm all ears. Well, literally not all ears, because that would just be stupid, wouldn't it? I think I know what's Hello, happened. mother. Happened mother, there. hello. <sighs> Medicinal. Do you think we'll ever meet this fancy dealer of yours? Well, it was here not five minutes ago. He comes and goes so fast. Ooh, TMI, TMI. Well, don't leave me hanging like a smoked salmon. Why, well, what's up? I know what's happened to Tabitha. Uh, if you knew something, surely you'd have said sooner. I couldn't. Oh, sure, of course. You've been with me nearly every day. I told him I wouldn't hurt you. Hurt her? Oi, bitch. You better start talking. Now. Yes, you are gripping my shit. Take a deep breath. I've oh, said that. She's not an asthmatic. She will be when I'm done with her. <laughs> Get in the car, now! That is! I said get in the car! I don't get in cars with strange men. Now! Okay, however, on this occasion... Quick, call the police! I can't, my phone's in my pashmina bag. Who in the right mind in this day and age doesn't carry the mobile phone with them? Well, have you got one? Of course I have this in here. Here. You liver spotted, liver faced old trout. Drop me wondering all day why nobody tindered me. Oh, God. What's up? Get your nana, Jim, McDonald's. Where'd you meet this one? The Mary Hindley Boyfriend Club? I suppose this means I'm going to get no more free snip. But I'd find myself a new dealer now. And I've only got one bag left. You are a bag. Rodney, will you please turn this shite off? I can't. I can't find the remote. I've got it here. I 
Uh, so I can't call the police. Hmm. It's very interesting. It's almost as if someone doesn't want you to know something. Oh my god. No shit, Sherlock. My daughter's missing and my son's got mixed up in God only knows what. Hmm. It's weird though. Because it, it seems like every time someone wants to tell you something, poof, they disappear into thin air. It's almost as if someone doesn't want you to know something. Oh, give me strength. Hey, do you want me help or not? Yes, but what do I do? Ah, well, what we need to do is work out in all of this what is the common denominator and my beautiful little slug shell. I think it's you. So what do I do? Oh, I don't know. I'm only here because I thought that pretty posh girl would be here. See you later. Oh my. And that's a She's gone missing and all. It seems everybody that's been trying to help you just does one. Strange that, isn't it? Oh, give me strength. I'm surrounded by ignoranuses. I thought I taught you better than this. Not now, Mother. Well, when then? When? Is this what life is, eh? Always loses someone. I suppose it is, but you've got to feel privileged to have known that. I don't feel privileged. I feel rotten. It gets easier. My God, when you and your sister left home, I thought my life had ended. And then you gave me three grandkids. And it started again. Yeah, three grandkids, then it looks like maybe you or I'll see you again. They'll come back, tail between the legs, wanting something. Wanting and needing you. I made them too strong. That's the problem. No, I made you too strong. And you know what? I'm glad. Because I'm not much longer for this earth. Don't say that. Honesty, daughter, honesty. And you know what? Something else that I don't say often enough. I'm proud of you. Proud of the way you stand tall. Never let any man walk all over you. In my day, we did as we were told. End of. I didn't bring Rodney up to steal cars. The folly of youth. But, Cedric, he's done okay. Yeah, and my daughter. I hope she's alright. And Daisy, I mean... Do they just stick around until they pinch your last ounce of feeling? There really is only one way to find out what's in somebody's head, and that's to ask them, and then just hope that they tell you the truth. Now, I don't want you dwelling on this. I want you to get out there and start being Belinda. Will you do that for me? How can I? Easy. Best slippy on. Push that underwire up and get out there. You're still a piss ridden old ball bag. Aye, but I'm your piss ridden old ball bag. Now piss off. Look who I found. Right, before you start, let me make a coffee and I'll explain everything. <sighs> I don't want you to worry. I'm not worried. Everything's going to plan. And you could be rich too. Her out there, she's got more money than she pretends. Both of them are wadded. A certain lottery win in 2006 made sure of that. Nah, someone would have mentioned it before. And 6.3 million would have made her a council of the people. She certainly didn't get voted in. Play the game or lose those efforts. Mum, we need to talk. I'm so sorry, but I nearly messed everything up. The whole car being stolen, I can explain. She's your problem, that, that Daisy. She's behind it all. To be fair, she's only doing it for the money. Money? Oh, the lot you win, right. You've done all this and something to me daughter for 63 quid. 6.3 million? No. 63 pound. No, 
on Granada Report and in the newspaper, it said 6.3 million. Oh my <laughs> God, this is priceless. <laughs> well, I can't exactly let any of you go. How can I? 63 quid. You've done this for 63 quid. And where do I know you from? I was married to your sister. Fanny! Dennis, that can't be true. I thought what we had was real. Well, it was. Well, for some part, won't be serious. You and me, we never had a future. I did try and tell you. So did I. Everything that I've done is for you. How are you even involved? You've been away for eight months. I only got put away to protect you. You was married to my father! For a short enough time to know that you don't mess with her. So she's behind all this? Her and her dodgy hands? Oh, but why are you here and not her? Because she doesn't get her hands dirty. Does she still own that pie shop? It's locking up time, isn't it? Is she there now? Uh, it's Tabs there! Why, you simple little man. How can you all be scared of this? Oh! Funny! Yes, please. Oh, sorry. Thoughts about it. Can I help you? He was a happy man until he met her. She made him sign everything over. My name's Belinda Scandal. Who the shit in hell are you? I'm Arthur Crosswell. Dennis is my dad. I can't let him go to jail again. He nearly killed him last time. Are you going to hurt me? Because if you are, I warn you, I'm training origami. I will fold you into several different shapes. I don't know. Are you going to go to the police? Do you know where my daughter is? And will you help me? Then no. No police. She's in a warehouse on Jessica Rabbit Street. Right, that's it. I've done my bit. I'm off. Thank you, Arthur. Hello, sis. Quite the while. Where is she? Is she OK? Does it give you excitement? Are you enjoying the thrill of the chase? Look, I don't want to talk. I just want to know she's OK. Please, is she OK? Is the old woman still alive? She's in there! You've got her in! Get out, get out of my way! I'm afraid she can't come out. She's a little bit tied up. But I was nice. I have brought a friend round for tea. The posh girl! You've got her in there or not? I... Do you know what? I have just about reached the end of my tether with you. Nobody wanted you. You draw further away and you nearly drove mother into an early grave. Good. I hope the old bin dies. Oh! Nobody likes a dirty fanny. It's been two hours. I'm worried. And you, you prat. What do you expect to gain by deceiving me? Fanny wanted you dead. And I thought if I give you enough coke, it'd see you off. But you, you're like a dust buster. 63 pound. 63 pounds? I got myself in this much deep shit for 63 pounds. You said I'd be rich. I went for a normal job interview. And I told you, and that son of yours, that I wouldn't get involved. 
And then I got this job. Did you fix it? That was my brother that fixed it for you. <gasps> oh yeah. The Scottish guy in the job centre. Quite the resemblance. Obviously. You weren't going to get the job on your own. But why did you bother? Because, like all of you, she's got a secret she's trying to keep. Hasn't she, Rodney? It wasn't me driving Mum's car. It was Daisy. I took the rap for it. But it wasn't me who ran over the blind girl guide, guided by the guide dog. No, it was me. And it wouldn't have happened if you suddenly decided to turn me down. Turn her down? Oh, you two was uh, having Rudy's. We did, until... Look who's back, back again. Looking fine, brother, you are. Thought you were on a gap, yeah. Oh, hi, everyone. Rodney isn't it, the delinquent brother? Oh, and the delicate Daisy, who knows everything and says nothing. What a family of misfits you all are. Fanny! Fanny <laughs> in the door. I haven't seen you for a while. It's been a while since you saw Fanny. Does no one else see the humour in this? <laughs> Who is that? Oh, look, Fanny's lips are moving. <laughs> oh, actually, I quite, I quite like that. <laughs> Could somebody please tell me what's going on? All's well now, isn't it? Uh, providing you don't evolve the law. Yes, I mean, there's no need for that. I mean, you got your daughter back, didn't you? You, but you can't just get away with kidnapping someone. And what are you going to do? Please don't tell me you're just going to let this slide. I thought we didn't keep secrets. <laughs> secrets? <sighs> well, this one took the rap for that one because he decided that he wanted to stop having fondles with her. <sighs> it really isn't as simple as that. No, it's not. But Rodney's learning the importance of eavesdropping. I don't, and I've never liked Cluedo. Will somebody tell me what's happening? You might remember this. We used to sit around on a Saturday night watching the Generation Game. These days, they call it incest. Incest? It... It, it wasn't incest. Mum, I've been trying to tell you. Okay, I'm like tense the cleverest here, and even I don't have a clue what's going on. This has been such fun. But pin back your ears, for it's time for a little more scandal. You see, Rodney here was having fiddles with Daisy. That was, of course, until he overheard me and dear Dennis talking. And that little conversation was enough to shock him from being a man into the deliquent that he is now. Mum, I had to call a day with Daisy. Why? Because he'd find out about your daughter. What's our tab's got to do with this? Yeah, what? Not that daughter, the other daughter. You see, it's no coincidence that she moved from Salford to Dribbleton. No, it was all a big setup. You see, the daughter you gave away years ago is actually here, and in true Silla fashion, surprise, surprise, Daisy O'Connell, meet your mother, Belinda, scandal. <laughs> mm, this has been such fun, but I'm going now. Have fun decoding that one, family scandal. Checkmate. My God! You... You knew this! I'm sorry. I said that you didn't know because of the... No! No, because you're my sister. And then you took the rap for me, nearly killing that girl guide that was being guided by the guide dog. Because you're my sister. You never told me! I, I, I told Daddy, he insisted that I kept it secret. Doing all this for money. I, I thought we were close. Like the daughter you never had. Excuse you. It, it's a figure of speech. Get out! Go on, all of you, get out! Get out! All of you, get out! It was really nice meeting you. Everything that I did was for you. 
I've just found out you're my mum and... Oi, bitch, she's asked you nicely. Now, will you please... Oh, oh, oh.